So let's get our acceleration here. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2022 Ram 2500 Limited with quite a few crazy options. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram here in Sandy for giving me some time with the truck. Check out the inventory link below. Let's get into the video. So under the hood, we have the 6.7 liter inline six Cummins that goes through a six speed automatic known as the 68 RFE. Power outputs are 370 horsepower and then 850 pound feet of torque. And that is the only available tune for the 2500 with the Cummins. Now let's go over the front end of this truck. So first off, you guys can see here in the lighting, the maximum steel looks pretty cool. Now we've got the full LED lights here with the accent light that is just down below. And yeah, looks fantastic overall, super bright at night as you guys can see. And then you guys can see the full chrome grill here with the Ram logo, you got a camera there at the bottom of the A. Fog lights down below with the parking sensors integrated in the front tow hooks there at the very bottom and then all chrome there on the front end so it has that nice luxury truck aesthetic coming around the side here we've got 285 millimeter tires wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well and they've gone for a chrome design to match the other elements here on the truck so makes sense here's a quick look at the front suspension and then you guys can see the cummins logo the 2500 heavy duty logo the ram logo the limited logo this one has the trailer mirrors and like stated in the thumbnail, this truck is a mega cab and also has Ram boxes. So here is the key fob. We've got the limited logo there on the back. You've got the unlock, the lock, the drop down for the tailgate and the remote start. We have a payload capacity of 1,633 pounds here with the limited. Notice we have the liner and then notice since this has the Ram boxes, you've got the gate and you've got the LED bed lights, which are nice and prominent here at night. And I guess someone used this truck as their uh, personal garbage can. Sad day that someone's using a limited for that. Um, but yeah, you guys can see. And also, if you're wondering, you can only get Ram boxes with a six foot four bed. You can also only get a mega cab with a six foot four bed. So that's all. Finishing things up here in the rear, we've got the full LED lights here on the back. You got all the chrome badges as well. Chrome bumper, you've got the receiver hitch down below, and then we've got all of the parking sensors. Exhaust tip sticking out the side, and now I gotta get into the Ram boxes. So they lock and unlock with the uh, key fob of the truck, and you guys can see tons of storage space here in the Ram box area. And then it's also got a plug, so you can put like ice and stuff in here if you want. And then going to the other side, doo -doo -doo, you guys can see again tons of storage space. This one does have an outlet, so some added practicality to this side. Um, you guys are probably going to want to know my thoughts on it. I think that it's nicely integrated in the bed. It doesn't make the truck look ugly or anything like that. It gives you some compartments, so it adds some practicality there. But it does make the bed slightly narrower. So you do have that going against the Ram boxes. And again, you can only get this with a 6 foot 4 bed. So you have that going against the Ram boxes. Um, so, I mean, there's some benefits, but then there's also some downsides. Now, as you can see, this truck has a crazy interior. Um, you guys can see the white here mixed with the blue, and it looks fantastic if you ask me. And then the wood trim, the embroidery. Look at the speaker there for the sound system. Beautiful. Got the power side steps. And then and since this is the Mega Cab, you guys can see there's tons of space here, tons of leg room as well. You got the functions on it. So like you uh, have this, which will help you to uh, pull it forward. Then there's another latch here on the back, which will also help you to pull it forward. So there's different ways. So if you just want to fold it down like this, then you can use the latch on the back. Um, but using the lower latch, you can like fold it down into the floor. So you have like more space on top. Hopefully that makes sense. I can't do it with one hand, but hopefully you guys understand. Anyways, got the wood trim just up above. Got the USBs, got the full power outlet, heated seats in the back, vents, all that fun stuff. More embroidery. And yeah, that's the Mega Cab. Also, there is technically storage behind the seat as well. So like a lot more practical than the crew cab. So yeah. Now here's the door panel at the front. So you guys will notice again, same design here with all the leather looks fantastic. Mirrors do have blind spot mirroring against the trailer mirrors. And then you can see down below, we've got the window controls right here. That folds in the mirror, your memory seats. That's for the convex mirror to adjust it. So it's pretty cool you have that. And again, look at the speaker, just beautiful. And then here's the seat at the front. So again, same design here. Notice that you've got the blue on the back of the seat. But yeah, the seat looks fantastic here. And then you've got your adjustments there. Pedals down below, you've got all of our light controls, the fog light and the cargo light. Pedal adjustment, steering wheel adjustment, and there's where my look before we pop in.
Now here is the steering wheel. You've got wood trim here at the top and then just down below and then you've got all of the beautiful leather here with the stitching. You've got your gear limiter. And then notice here we've got our cruise control. This does have the adaptive cruise control system as well. And then you've got our voice command controls, controls to center stack, radio controls here on the back of the steering wheel. We have our turn signal windshield wiper stock. And then we have our column shifter, which feels nice and manly, but it also has nice leather and stitching on it. Now here is the center gauge cluster for the truck. Notice it's blue and that's kind of a theme with the limited. You got a bunch of different screens you can scroll through here in the center, which will give you different bits of information on the truck itself. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff, pretty easy to use. And there's a the gauge cluster. Now I've got a 12 volt here at the top. Notice we have the lane departure, the stability control, the hazard lights, analog climate controls on either side, and then the radio controls as well. And then here's the 12 inch display. By the way, this that you're seeing on the camera, that's not in real life. That's just because of the uh, frame rate of the camera. Uh, anyways, popping into reverse, you guys can see the backup camera pops up. We've got trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And this one's got the 360 camera system. So we have the cargo camera, which is definitely nice. We have the cameras out either side of the bed as well. You got the full surround camera system, so you got like the front camera even. So yeah, from a camera system perspective, it is just solid. Now as for the rest of the 12-inch display, first off response time with it is great. You guys can see you've got the shortcut buttons here at the bottom. Dual zone climate, heated cooled seats, heated steering wheel here for the front passengers as well. It's got all of the uh, stuff that you'd expect it to have for being a fully loaded truck. Notice you do have the rear air suspension, so you can lower the bed here from the touchscreen, which is another nice little feature to have, and then you can pop out the power side steps. Just so much utility. We have all of our auxiliary switches right here, parking sensors for the front and the rear, the diesel exhaust brake, tow haul mode, and then alternate trailer height. And then notice how we have the trailer brake controls, drive line select, so you two-wheel drive, four-wheel high, four-wheel low, and then the neutral. And then we have the storage space right there with the USBs and then the wireless phone charger with an outlet right there. And then you guys can see we have the center console here with the limited logo on it. Uh, tons of storage space here. And then you guys can see inside and notice the slides backwards and forwards. It's got the nice wood trim as well on that. And then, well, the glove box is already open. That's a shame. Got the limited logo. And then you guys can see both of the glove boxes. And then again, with the continuation of the leather trim, uh, looks fantastic. This is probably my favorite uh, limited interior. Harman Kardon sound system, you guys can see there. And then we do have the camera mirror here at the top, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of, uh, just from a safety perspective, and I just think it's good technology. And then do have a power setting window. And then the headliner is lighter colored to kind of match uh, everything else with the uh, truck, and that's all. So I thought you guys wouldn't be able to see the window sticker, but you actually can, which is a huge plus. Feel free to freeze a frame if you want. And hopefully it focuses. So you guys can see uh, $88,760 for the Toro MSRP. Let's take it out and see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. There's your visibility over the hood. Both of the mirrors. Again, they've got blind spot throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So we are setting off here in this Ram 2500 Limited. And uh, first off, let's uh, talk about the uh, road noise and the ride quality. So first off, from a ride quality perspective, since it's got the coil suspension in the back end being a 2500, it's pretty smooth for a heavy duty truck. Um, you still feel bumps and everything as you go over them, but it's it's definitely a lot better than what you get in a lot of other heavy duty trucks. So that in my mind is a uh, pretty big positive. And then from a road noise perspective, you hear a little bit of the wheels, quite a bit from the Cummins, which I'm not gonna complain about that. That's nice sound. Um, but other than that, it's it's pretty, pretty minimal. And uh, so that's definitely a huge positive. Seat comfort's really nice. Uh, these are you know pretty much the same seats as what i have in my trx and i like them um they're nice and comfortable the bolsters are nice and wide so uh you know pretty much everyone can fit in these seats and uh, there's just nothing bad that i could really say about the seats uh, so they're just really good overall and steering not as direct as the 1500 obviously but uh, it's still it's very light um it's, it's relatively direct for a heavy duty truck, but again, not as direct as we have with the 1500 brakes 
you really got to push into them. You really got to kind of just muscle in with your leg to get uh, the braking. And in the 1500, you don't have to do that uh, as much. But the heavy duty here, you definitely do have to just really muscle your leg into the brake pedal. Taking a turn here. See how the Mega Cab is? Pretty good. Gotta love the sound of the Cummins. Yeah, definitely solid with that. And those brakes, you just really gotta muscle your leg into them. So let's get our acceleration here. Pretty peppy, pretty peppy. Not gonna, you know, smoke the tires like the new F350 or, well, I mean, even an F250 or a Chevy Silverado 2500 with the power stroke and then with the Duramax. Um, but, you know, it still gets up and moves. So let's give this truck a rating. <laughs> this interesting truck. Exterior wise with the maximum steel, I think it's a really good looking truck. I don't have any complaints there. I think, I think it's, it's just a good looking truck. Interior wise, I love this interior. I really do. Um, I understand that some people might be worried about the seats because the color and they might stain and all that, but I think it's a really good looking interior overall. And it's it's just nice with all the tech and everything. It just looks great, especially at night. It's, it's very nice. And then driving wise, smooth, it's comfortable. It's good for a heavy duty truck. It's It gets up and moves at a decent pace. So that's all solid. Should you get the Mega Cab? Should you get Ram boxes? Well, Mega Cab, if you need the space and you're okay with a 6 4 bed and you're okay with a little bit less payload, yes. Ram boxes, if you want compartments, yes. Like if you, especially if you do fishing and all that kind of stuff, those are really good for that. Um, you know, if you want built in toolboxes pretty much, then yeah, they're worth it. Um, and if you're okay with, you know, losing a little bit of uh, bed space and again, having the 6 4 bed. I think it's I think it's all worth it. That's gonna sum things up for a video on this 2022 Ram 2500 Limited. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Schmiller Dodge Ram here in Sandy for giving me some time with the truck. Check out the inventory link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.